Ethan Zuckerman is on the global board of George Soros' Open Society Foundation. He's one of Soros' top operatives. He writes articles for CNN, and on May 7th, he wrote an article for The Atlantic titled, The Case for a Taxpayer-Supported Version of Facebook. He says, a public social media platform would have the civic mission of providing us a diverse and global view of the world. In the article, he talks about the conservative blogosphere and how it is, quote, hermetically sealed. He argues that the main problem is that conservatives don't pay attention to mainstream media, instead relying on Breitbart and smaller Patriot websites. He says, quote, with our teams at Harvard and MIT, we analyze 1.25 million news stories using hyperlinks and mentions on Twitter and Facebook to map the ecosystem of campaign media. We discovered that while left and centrist voters relied heavily on traditional media to understand the election, the dominant source of information shared by right-wing voters on Facebook and Twitter was Breitbart, which anchored a media ecosystem of new online-only outlets that mixed propaganda and conspiracy theory with partisan news. It continues, These sites, we found, are not fake news in the usual sense of wholly fabricated articles written to earn online ad dollars, but hyper-partisan partly factual news, their partial truth, as well as their invocations of familiar false narratives that are common within an echo chamber, make them very hard to debunk. Read something unbelievable on the Daily Caller and you're likely to find it echoed on the Washington Examiner, Infowars, and Breitbart. This echo chamber was responsible, we believe, for taking a fringe position on ending legal immigration, making it central to the 2016 presidential campaign, and ultimately for helping the candidate willing to support this position rise to the presidency. It continues, an idea for those seeking a technical solution to our polarization and isolation, public social media. Private platforms like Facebook are under no obligation to provide us a diverse worldview. There you have it. A global board member of George Soros' Open Society Foundation calling for government-run social media to socially engineer conservatives to make them look at globalist news.